Hello, my name is Tommy LT. Welcome to All That or Scat, where we look the good, the bad, and the ugly to determine whether it's all that or just complete scat. Now, today we have the Fast Bites Classic Hot Dog up for review. I did a review on this once, but never posted it and never will, as I did that review with whom I'd like to refer to as he who shall not be named. I also did a chili cheese dog review from Fast Bites, but never actually was able to find another chili cheese dog to replace the review I did on this channel. So for now, you'll just have to settle with my review of this. By the way, as you can see, I'm trying on a new format where I make episodes as quick as possible and you don't have to see my ugly face. Hope you enjoy. Now to start, you're actually going to get to see the nutrition facts up close and personal for once. As you can see, this hot dog has 270 calories, so it's definitely not the best choice if you're looking for a health food. It also has 5 grams of added sugar, about 26 carbs, and it has a decently high amount of fat and sodium. However, it does have 8 grams of protein. However, you're not here today to see me ramble on like a health nut. You're here to see me review this product. And review this product I will. See you in a moment. Alright, so as you can see, I have returned with the heated hot dog. Now, it's not the most appealing thing, but it's definitely a hot dog. The bun is a bit hard, and the hot dog is a bit firm, but I followed the instructions to a T, which were literally just to open up one side of the bag, heat it for 65 to 75 seconds, then remove the product. Without further ado, I'm going to review this product for you. First problem, the bun is hard. The microwave has a tendency to do that, but normally it's not this profound. As for the hot dog itself, it does taste good, but it has a strange consistency to it. It's kind of hard to describe, to say the least. This cost me a dollar for just this hot dog with bun. Now, if you go to a store, you can get hot dogs for a fairly cheap price. At the Dollar Tree, you can normally find a pack of four Bar S Franks for a dollar, and then get rolls from there for a dollar, or your local Walmart for a dollar. You're getting four times the stuff for only double the price. Now, some people may just want something quick to eat and to sup, and for that it's okay. However, even if you live alone, just take one hot dog out of one of those packs and one bun out of a pack, and you have yourself hot dogs. This is not bad, do not get me wrong, this isn't bad, but it's not really worth a dollar to me. There are much better things you can get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and if you have more than one dollar, you can stretch it out to get things. You can get a very, very large pack of hot dogs for only five dollars, sometimes even four. This cost me one dollar. Which would you rather have for five dollars? Five of these, or a large four dollar pack of hot dogs, and a pack of hot dog rolls. As much as this does taste good, I'm going to have to go ahead and give it a scat rating, and I am going to give it 2.5 out of 5. It's decent enough, but it's not good enough to make the cut for all that. Now I just took another bite there, and it's the inside of the bun that's actually giving it this strange consistency. It's sort of like a slimy consistency. That's very, very weird. 
Very, very odd. Not something you would run into with a normal hot dog. If they sold these in packs of two for a dollar, they might be a decent deal. But for one for a dollar, these just simply are not worth it. If you need a quick bite to eat and have access to a microwave, go ahead, get one. But I would not recommend them if you have the ability to store hot dogs. Anyways, this has been Tommy LT, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.